Welcome to the video lecture covering congruence and transformation. Here the learning target is to understand when two objects are congruent by using transformations. Your two success criteria is to identify congruent figures and then identify the congruent parts between those two figures. Here we'll start with the vocab. What are congruent figures? We know that two figures are um, congruent figures if and only if a rigid transformation or a series or a composite of rigid transformations can map one image to another. That means can you translate it, which is slide, can you reflect it, which is flip, or can you rotate it, which is to turn it? Can you do any of those in such ways um, to get each other? Notice that this image is all congruent because you can make it by transforming this into this by turning it, this to this by flipping it. But there's no way you can slide it to make it bigger. So this is considered congruent. This is not congruent. If, these, if the image is congruent, okay, then their parts are congruent. That means that congruent transformations is when the pre-image and the image, the image before and the image after, are the same and they're interchangeable. Our three that are congruent transformations are rotations, because notice here the it preserves the length and the angle. Reflection, which is a flip, notice that the shape and size are the same, as well as translation which is a slide. The angles and the lengths are the same. So here you are going to complete the sentence for the vocab and core concept checked. One, complete the sentence. Two figures are blank if and only if there is a rigid motion or a composite of rigid motion that moves one of the figures onto the other. You are correct. It is congruent. Two, Question two, vocab. Why is the term congruent transformation used to refer to a rigid motion? And the answer for that is, a rigid motion refers to when the length and the angle of the object does not change during the transformation, which is the same thing as what a congruent transformation refers to. Example one, how to identify congruent figures. Remember, we do that by asking ourselves, can we apply a transformation to make the new ones. Let's see. Here's the first solution. They say that square, uh, NPQR, can be translated to make that other square of ABCD. Let's see where it is. It says NPQR is going to be the same thing as A, B, C, D, and E. And they do that by translating it six units down one two three four five six and then two units left that is correct okay all right from here to here good likewise therefore a b is going to be the same thing as n p so do you see how the first two was n p so it's going to be congruent to a b Next, we see this triangle of KLM. KLM is going to be congruent to EFG. And how do we do that? They flipped it. It was a reflection. And it was reflected over the, right here, the x-axis. So therefore, I said LM is congruent to FG. Likewise, this angle, E, is congruent to the angle of K, right? If the images are congruent, their parts are congruent. That means the length and the angles. And the last one, STU, which is this triangle here, can be made into HIJ. And we do that by rotating it. It rotates 90, then another 90 here which makes it 180 degrees. Likewise, if the, if the triangles or the figures are congruent, 
if you have congruent figures, then you have congruent parts. So, ST is congruent to HI, and also I is congruent to T. Congruent, congruent figures have congruent parts. CP, CT. CP, CT. Congruent um, figures or congruent transformations have congruent parts. If the triangles are the same, then the lengths or the angles are the same. This is an opportunity for you to now practice the congruent figures. Identify any congruent figures that you see here and, ex and explain exactly like what we did here. We said which images are congruent and how we got them. Pause the video and give it this a try. Here's the solution. I will say rectangle IHGH is this one, which is congruent to this one. And how do we do that? We did that by translating it down. Okay, it went down one, two, three, four, five, six. It went down six. Okay. We also say triangle MLK is congruent to UTS by, it looks like it was flipped, and that is through the Y axis. Then lastly, we have uh, CAB which is congruent to F, D, E. And how do we do that? I think that was a rotation or a turn. And that was 90 degrees above the origin, about the origin. Good job. Example two. Here, they, you're going to describe the congruent transformation. So they said here and here, from here to here, these two are going to be the same figure. And remember, it's only the same figure if they have congruent transformations. So what are they? Here's the solution. First of all, they say they, uh, they reflect it. So this is, was the reflection. And this is about, when you tell the reflection, you have to say what, um, what line. And they say it's about the y-axis. Then it was translated or slide down and it slide down four units one two three four okay so we could say that so a congruent transformation right which was the reflection then the translation maps the tr the rectangle a b c d to rectangle e f g h by reflection about the y-axis followed by a translation. This is how you describe a congruent transformation. Now I want you to describe the congruent transformation here. This is your chance to practice. Pause the video and give that a try. Here's the solution. How do you go from here to here? There are two things. First of all, they translated um, five units down no, five units to the right. So here, one, two, three, four, five. They say they did that. So one, two, three, four, five here. And one, two, three, four, five here. So this is what they mean. They translate it. So it was this triangle. Then they flip it over the, y, the x axis here. Or they flipped it first, or they translated it first here or they translate it four down so one two three four and then they flipped it over the y-axis give me a second here yes so it went four down then they flip it over the uh, then they flipped it here over the y-axis. Then it would look something like this. Then I think they just flipped it again. Okay? So it is possible. Okay? 
But you couldn't. Then they then they did one more. Then they reflect um, over what was the equation here? Uh, that was y equals to two. Okay. If you think it works by just reflecting it, you can reflect it. Then you would have to slide it. That's also one as well. Okay. But it wouldn't work with just two reflections. All right. But there you go. Uh, those are all your solutions for congruent transformations.